Hi everyone. Um, welcome back to the uh, worldstart.com video desk. My name is Gary. I'm Steve. And today we're going to cover a topic that we get a lot of questions about. Uh, specifically we're going to talk about zip files. I think pretty much everybody has seen a zip file sometime when they're using their computer. But a lot of times, not many people know what they are, or how they work, or what exactly that they do. Um, today we're going to cover that. Uh, most importantly, it's, it's important to understand what a zip file is. A zip file is a container, pretty much. Um, you put other files, like pictures or documents, inside of them. It compresses them, makes them all into one file. Um, makes it so you can then transfer all of those files together, through, whether it be through an email or a flash drive or something, where they take up less space and, uh, and they're easier to transport. Um, from there, once they're transported, you can take them out of the zip file and get them back as their normal condition, and it makes things a lot easier just to transfer things around. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, Steve's going to take over here on the computer and he's going to show you exactly how to use a zip file how to make a zip file, how to uh, compress and uncompress a zip file, and, uh, and I think it's going to be pretty helpful for you. Thank you, Gary. Okay, let's take a look here at zip files. We're going to show you how to do them, and uh, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do here at the computer is to take these four files I have on my desktop, and let's send them to a zip file. So the easiest way to do that is to highlight the files. Now I'm going to right-click and go to Send To. And right here you can see that I can send this to a compressed zip folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it turned it into a folder right there on my desktop. Now, right now it has the name of the last file that was in there. I don't want that. I'm just going to call it stuff. So I'm going to try to spell it right too. There we go. There's stuff. Now, this is my zip file. I can do all sorts of things with this. I can send this to somebody via email which would be much a lot more preferable than say sending them four different attachments or 12 or whatever I want to send them if you've ever gotten an email that was just covered in attachments it drives you crazy so this gives them gives the recipient all your full files in one easy to use folder now if we double click this we can take a look at what's inside of it now at this point we are these files are still compressed inside of it but we are just viewing the archive now I can double click any one of these files and it'll bring up a picture It'll show me what's in there. I can't really do anything with it at this point. So let's say you just received a folder called stuff and you just looked at it and say, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Well, we're going to close this and let's right click this. It's the same to, uh, same kind of method to extract as it is to um, turn to create an archive. So I'm going to hit extract all in this menu and now it's going to want me to select a destination. What, basically what this is going to do by default is just put the folder right in the same spot where the zip archive is. In this case, since it's on my desktop, I want another one called stuff on there. That'll be the, un, uh, uh, the uncompressed folder. And I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Click extract. And as you can see, it has taken and there's all the photos. I can edit them. I can put them in Photoshop, do whatever I want. There's all the photos that were in that zip archive. And if you look over here, look at that. There's the folder called stuff. And this time it's not a zip folder. This was a zip folder up here with a little zipper on it. This one down here, this is just a standard folder. I can do whatever I want with it. And uh, that's about it. That's how you work with them. It's really, uh, there's nothing to be intimidated about. It's very easy to do. So uh, take some files, give it, uh, give it some practice on your computer and uh, see, see what you think. I hope that uh, today's video helped you out with learning zip files. I, I know that uh, it's been, it's been uh, extremely helpful for a lot of other people, and we've tried to explain it just in the just in the in the written tips. So hopefully the video will be a lot better for you. Um, as always, if you uh, caught this video on YouTube or on our YouTube channel, feel free to step over to our website. It's www.worldstart.com. You can sign up for our newsletter, or check out our Facebook page, or go to our blog. And uh, if you have a question, always uh, feel free to stop by www.worldstart.com forward slash ask. It's right here and uh, ask your question. Uh, we try to answer all the, all the questions that we can and even make videos for some of them. Uh, thanks a lot and thanks for stopping by and have a great day.